Morning of day 52. I'm still in my tent. It's like 8.30 right now. It was raining outside. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be like that all day. So, yeah, but I'm packing up right now. And uh, I get to tear down in the, in the rain, which is always great. Uh, but, yeah, I'm still going to go all day today into the night. Hopefully I get to that shelter. So, but yeah, as you hear the the thunderstorms around me. All right, later, guys. Yeah, today's gonna be fun. There. All right, first task of the day. It's a nice 500 foot hill on the actual trail. So, yep. Don't want to miss the trail completely. So I decided to go this way. It's really that not big of a difference between this and the blue line. Except for probably the, whoa, as I slip on the mud. Except for the, probably the big hill in the middle. But that's okay. Yeah. As I go up, all right, there. I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to snow on me. It's not sticking to the ground or anything like that. But, hey, it's April and it's snowing. So. Fun times. <laughs> yep. Winter's not done with me yet. But I think I've uh, almost to the crest of this hill. It should be downhill in the next couple miles which is gonna be nice but yeah snow all right there all right so to get by get in the next part of this Buckeye Trail it's told us is the best spot to cross it's like a man-made dam uh yeah so I'll still get a little bottom of my feet will get wet but hopefully not all of it all right Actually, as I, it shouldn't be that big of a problem, just walk across. Still getting wet though, yep. Yeah. My feet are still wet. It didn't help that much. <laughs> Especially right here. But instead of uh, two feet of wetness, I only got one. Couple inches. All right, later. This is a pretty recent tree fall I just had to go over. Probably just happened the last few nights. But that's what happens when you're walking on the actual trail. Which, uh, which I'm basically going to do for the first like 12 miles today, today about halfway through that. Then I take a shortcut. But uh, I don't want to miss out completely on the trails of uh, the Buckeye Trail. It's just so when we're generally heading the right direction, i.e., uh, west, I'll take the trail. <laughs> but yeah, which means about well, 550 feet of incline and decline over like three miles. At least this section is. So, there's that. Lots of fun. All right. Better. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm being hailed on now. Nice and fun. All right. It's good enough. To, that's all I wanted to show you. <laughs> yep. Fun times. So, as you can see, that's what I've been dealing with all day. Well, the last couple hours, anyways tree falls all over the place. Not that bad. Just walk around it, but yeah, I can tell that this part of the trail has been maintained in a while. At least in a since the last few storms anyways. And since it rained so much this last week, it might be all from it right now, but it seems rather uh excessive all the tree falls that I've had to deal with today. <laughs> There's me trying.
trying to get over it. Hopefully I don't die. Slip and fall. I'll break a leg. But that's been slowing me down all day. Trying to pull that in the... I've had maybe 1,200 of gain and loss. Just from the hills doing these trails. So probably won't make it to the, the shelter that I wanted to. But it's not that big of a deal because it's actually not going to rain tonight. I know. Amazing. I think uh, near the tail end of this week of rain. So that's good. But it has been pretty much raining on and off all day today. And it's been cold rain too. It's like it's been in the 40s. Low 40s, high 30s all day as well. So but I've been able to keep mostly dry. Wearing my poncho. Looking great. <laughs> but uh yeah. And in the intermediate rain and oh there I see some birds. I don't know if you can just tell them or not. In between the rain and the clearer. There's been snow, there's been hail. So I got all the whole full gambit today, weather-wise. Some moments of uh, heavy wind too, so, yep. As you can see, more tree falls, but not nearly as uh, mobilizing. All right, later. All right. Uh, last break of the day and uh yeah today's been a struggle um it's been cold wet and doing this trail which hasn't been maintained and yeah so instead of like the 20 miles i was thinking i was going to be able to do or 22 it's gonna be more like 15 <laughs> and i'm gonna cut it short uh because uh there's a road walk ahead in like a less than a mile and I want to camp before that, so. But, yeah. Tomorrow, the next few days, I'm gonna be taking shortcuts. And, and it's gonna be one big shortcut. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, I am just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna get my tent and get in my sleeping bag and warm up a little bit, and uh, yeah. So. That's the plan, uh, so pretty much done for the day. <laughs> Less than a mile to go, right later. Right. End of day 52, as I eat my dinner. Um, still light outside, which means I ended early, around like 6.20, 6.30. I was cold, wet, tired, because of all the, it's actually a trail, the unmaintained trail is kind of hard to get through. Uh, with all the tree falls and all that stuff, so I was over it. I didn't want to hike for another hour and a half. Um, yeah, so the the plan to in order to get as close to Cincinnati as possible is uh, I'll be doing in about 24 miles of actual trail, which but it will probably be more like 16, 17 of me actually walking. I'm going to start a rather large um, shortcut uh, that basically cuts south by uh, west by southwest instead of going south by southeast. Uh, basically, it's like 30 miles of road walking instead of uh, 100 miles of trail. I know I'm probably missing some uh, good hiking, but um, I'm trying to go west, not well, West is that way, not east and south. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, the road itself that I'm going to be taking, hopefully it's not that busy. It's not the, the main main road that goes that direction, but it's probably going to be a lot of farmland, which is fine for me. Um, I know there's a few places I can stop, uh, so it's not going to be that bad. But... Uh, yeah, just in order to get closer to Cincinnati, and so that basically cuts out 
was it 60 70 miles which is basically is four days for me so i think it's worth it to cut four days out of like a 200 plus day hike so that's yeah i can't ignore it um but it's going to be a real uh deviation from what the buckeye trail actually is so and this trail in general but and i that should be the largest deviation that i take all the trail because uh, most mostly the trail goes the right direction west <laughs> Um, or it, the deviations are rather small, but this is a rather large one and I don't want to deal with it. Uh, I'd rather get done with Ohio, um, which still is, uh, probably a week and a half off 10, maybe, maybe two weeks with, the um, zero I'll be taking with uh, my brother, but yeah, that's the plan and, uh, see you guys later.